Europa is one of the most intriguing places in our solar system, where a vast ocean lies beneath a thick layer of ice. It orbits a giant planet, Jupiter, and faces its powerful radiation and tidal forces. But one of the most interesting things about this moon is that it may have also harbored life in its dark and mysterious waters, where organic molecules and energy sources may exist. But how do we know what lies beneath Europa's icy shell? How can we explore its secrets and potential for life? And what can we learn from its surface, which reflects its history and interactions with its environment? These are some of the questions that scientists have been trying to answer for decades, using telescopes, spacecraft, and probes. And now, they have a new and powerful tool to help them, the James Webb Space Telescope. And luckily, Webb made one of the most important discoveries, which is the detection of carbon dioxide on Europa's surface, which has important implications for the habitability of its ocean. In this video, we will talk about this discovery and the story behind it. We will explain exactly what it means and why it is so important. So stay tuned and get ready. Let's start with how James Webb detected carbon dioxide on Europa's surface. As you know, James Webb is not just a single telescope, but a complex system of mirrors, cameras, spectrometers, and detectors that work together to capture and analyze light from distant objects. For Europa's observation, Webb used two of its instruments, NIRCAM and NIRSPEC. NIRCAM is the primary camera of James Webb, which can take high-resolution images of objects in the near-infrared range of light. NIRCAM has two modules, one for wide-field imaging and one for coronagraphy, which is a technique that blocks out the bright light from a star or planet allowing you to see fainter objects around it. NERCAM's coronagraph was used to block out Jupiter's glare and focus on Europa. The observation was conducted on January 9, 2023, when Europa was at its closest distance to Earth. James Webb pointed its 6.5-meter primary mirror at Europa for about 10 hours, collecting data from both NERCAM and NERSPEC. The wavelength range covered by the instruments was from 0.6 to 5 micrometers, which corresponds to visible and near-infrared light. The spectral resolution was about 1,000, which means that each wavelength bin was about 1,000th of the wavelength range. The spatial coverage was about 12% of Europa's surface area. Now let's see what James Webb found on Europa's surface. The analysis of the data revealed that there was carbon dioxide in a specific region on the icy surface of Europa. Carbon dioxide is a gas that consists of one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms, and it is one of the most common and important molecules in the universe. It is essential for life as we know it, as it is involved in photosynthesis, respiration, and metabolism. It is also a greenhouse gas which means that it traps heat and affects the climate of a planet. But how did carbon dioxide get on Europa's surface? And why is it only in one region? Well, the answer is that the carbon likely came from the subsurface ocean of Europa, which is considered to be a potential habitat for life. Europa's ocean is estimated to be about 100 kilometers deep, containing more water than all of Earth's oceans combined. The tidal forces of Jupiter, which stretch and compress Europa's interior, produce heat and energy, keeping the ocean liquid. A layer of ice that is 10 to 30 kilometers thick separates the ocean from the surface. However, the ice is not uniform or static, but rather dynamic and fractured. There are cracks and vents in the ice shell, through which water and other substances can escape to the surface or vice versa. There are also impacts or eruptions that can create holes or plumes in the ice shell allowing material exchange between the ocean and the surface. The carbon dioxide detected by James Webb may have reached the surface through any of these mechanisms. It may have been dissolved in the ocean water and then released to the surface as gas or ice when the pressure or temperature changed. It may have also been produced by chemical reactions or biological processes in the ocean and then transported to the surface by currents or jets. The region where the carbon dioxide was detected is near the equator of Europa and covers about 12% of its surface area. This region is called chaos terrain, 
because it is characterized by a chaotic and complex landscape of ridges, cracks, blocks, pits, domes, and depressions. It is believed that the interaction of the ice shell with the ocean below causes the ice to melt, freeze, fracture, and rearrange itself, resulting in chaos terrain. This region is also one of the most geologically active and diverse areas on Europa, making it an ideal target for Webb's observation. So, why is this discovery important for the habitability of Europa's ocean? The presence of carbon dioxide on Europa's surface suggests that there may be organic molecules or biological activity in its ocean. Organic molecules are molecules that contain carbon and are essential for life as we know it. Biological activity is any process that involves living organisms or their products. This discovery is a key ingredient for both organic molecules and biological activity. Carbon dioxide can react with water to form carbonic acid, which can then dissociate into bicarbonate and hydrogen ions. These ions can affect the pH, salinity, temperature, and circulation of the ocean, creating different chemical environments that may favor different types of life forms. This chemical compound can also react with other elements or molecules to form more complex organic molecules, such as sugars, amino acids, nucleotides, and lipids. These molecules are the building blocks of life as we know it, forming carbohydrates, proteins, nucleic acids, and fats. They can also store energy or information that can be used by living cells. Carbon dioxide can also be consumed or produced by biological activity in the ocean. For example, some microorganisms can use it as a source of carbon and energy through photosynthesis or chemosynthesis. The detection of carbon dioxide on Europa's surface may help us understand the chemistry and dynamics of its ocean better by measuring the amount, distribution, isotopic composition, and temporal variation of carbon dioxide on Europa's surface, we can infer how much carbon there is in its ocean, how it cycles between different forms and locations, how it interacts with other elements or molecules, and how it affects or reflects different physical or biological processes. It may also inform future missions to Europa better. One of these missions is NASA's Europa Clipper, which will fly by Europa multiple times and investigate its geology, composition, and environment. Europa Clipper will carry a suite of instruments, including cameras, spectrometers, radars, magnetometers, and plasma detectors. It will also deploy a lander, which will touch down on Europa's surface and perform measurements and experiments on Europa's surface. It will use the data from James Webb to select the best targets and strategies for its exploration, and it will also test the hypothesis that Europa's ocean is habitable and look for signs of life. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new and interesting. If you did, please give us a like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.